human errors so that you uh, reduce also your downtime or you reduce uh, losing a batch. Coming to a basic operational risk, I'm sure every company would have some operational risk, downtime or a, a, a faulty product. How can the entire process in continuous manufacturing mitigate this and ensure that the uptime is optimum? Um, control systems or automation of plants in general are also there to reduce uh, human errors so that you uh, reduce also your downtime or you reduce uh, losing a batch. Um, of course, uh, if you have PIT on top of it, you measure the conditions of your product all the time, whether it's the, con uh, the uh, particle size or the content uniformity or the rest moisture is monitored all the time. Whether that is batch or that is uh, continuous um, is the same, uh, which applies to both uh, processes. Um, one of the huge advantages, in my opinion, on continuous manufacturing is that you, in the process, at a given time, only have a little, little amount of product. Um, if you compare, for instance, a 300 kilo batch uh, process, if you lose uh, that batch, you've lost 300 kilos. Let's imagine that you have a complete shutdown on a, on a continuous manufacturing, then you will have in a, con in a given time frame within the continuous manufacturing maximum three to four kilos. That's nothing compared to 300 kilos. So even if you shut it down, you have produced a good product all the time, you have a complete shutdown for whatever reasons, even power loss, you shut it down, you only lose three to four kilos um, within the machine or within the process equipment. And that's a, one of the huge advantages of continuous manufacturing for reducing uh, uh, the cost uh, uh, when you have uh, lost uh, material. Yeah, so this covers the ad hoc aspect. Uh, does predictive maintenance play a very big role in this? Yes. Um, uh, I mentioned PIT, but uh, today uh, we also have, uh, for instance, chips on our equipment. And uh, first of all, it's of course monitoring the conditions of that equipment uh, or parts uh, for uh, maintenance. But that's only one element of it. The most important element is when an operator is putting after the shutdown and cleaning, you have to put the machine back into uh, production again. Right. And uh, when you chip it correctly, you can ensure that uh, the system is recognizing the correct parts, that they are mounted correctly, and this has to be um, uh, confirmed within the control system. So imagine that an operator is putting in a wrong nozzle, you, can, uh, you could lose your whole batch. Yeah. But if uh, a chip is recognizing that the correct nozzle is mounted into the system, and he is confirming, now I've uh, put it inside, it is the correct nozzle, then you can produce and you are sure you ensure 100% that uh, the product is made with the right uh, spray nozzle, for instance. And we have um, determined certain elements of, uh, or let's say, uh, critical elements within the plant, of the process plant, which needs to have a chip in order to make sure that the right equipment or the right parts are mounted into the machine. Uh, and that applies for batch as well as for, for con continuous manufacturing. And then you have the luxury, of course, if you have these data again, you can use it for condition monitoring and for uh, uh, maintenance monitoring as well. But the main driver for us was to make sure that you have the right setup of your equipment and that there's no human errors because the chip is reading, do I have put the right equipment in place? Is it in place? or is something missing, we can monitor that, this is confirmed, and this is uh, even uh, recognized within the control system. So we can even prove in the records that the right, correct uh, equipment was mounted or was put in place when they start production. Beautiful. So again, this is, uh, of course, also improving the quality of the pharmaceutical product which comes out. And efficiency, I'm sure. And of efficiency. course, and the efficiency yeah, the anyway. Yeah. You have no loss, uh, lost uh, uh, batches. You have yeah. no lost product in continuous manufacturing. So the efficiency will increase. And you don't lose any batches anymore. So because you, you have your process on.